on March 30th, Benjamin Addison was shot and killed outside a friend's apartment in Mount Auburn. Police later identified one of two suspects as a 17-year-old and put out a murder warrant for his arrest. Later that week, the mother of that suspect's girlfriend filed a stolen gun report with Covington police. Monday, I obtained calls and reports from the Kenton County Dispatch Center from April 6th, the day the suspect was arrested. On that morning, Covington police officers showed up here at the woman's house. She accused her daughter's boyfriend of taking the gun. Reports also show the juvenile told police he did not take the gun. He left shortly after speaking to officers. The woman's daughter said she was taking him home to Ohio, but those officers did not run a background check and they let him go. The warrant information only came later from dispatch. Here's a dispatcher telling a Covington officer about the murder warrant and his reaction. He is wanted for murder. Oh, is he? Yeah, hmm. it says wanted juvenile delinquent caution armed and dangerous full extradition. It's out of Hamilton County. And it's nationwide. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. I mean I didn't I didn't speak to my uh <laughs> other officers up there that spoke to him. I don't I don't know well I actually I figured they didn't run his uh his information because I was talking to the mother. Wow, interesting. The realization sparked several calls to and from the Hamilton County Dispatch Center. Cincinnati police then tracked down and arrested the juvenile, whom we are not naming because of his age, with Covington police providing the address in Cincinnati. I asked Covington police what their policies are when it comes to running background checks in a situation such as this, since the suspect could have fled. In a statement, city spokesman Dan Hassard said the officers did not have probable cause to detain the juvenile, he said, quote, it is not the policy of, nor it is practical for, officers to run background checks on every single person they come in contact with. Hassard added the juvenile did not try to hide who he was, nor did he act suspicious, and pointed out Covington police actually helped guide Cincinnati to his arrest. Now, no other arrests have been made in the case. A Cincinnati police spokesman told, told me today that detectives there were unaware of the Covington situation. I have no comment on that, but that the investigation into finding that second suspect is ongoing. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and click the links for more content like this.